Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Katherine Shelton and I thought it would be fun to make a video all about creating and selling clocks. I know this seems like kind of a weird topic to talk about, but I was super inspired by something my good friend, student and treasure hunter Felicia posted in our Blue Sky Creativity Group. And it was this pin from Pinterest. And what you are looking at is an after school routine clock for parents. And this was actually posted as a craft that you could create using Sharpies and a basic wall clock. And it's really cute. I mean, it tells kids that when they come home from school, they need to do their homework. Then they've got playtime, dinner, bath and bed. Isn't that just living the dream? When I can get my kids in bed before nine o'clock, that is a miracle. But there it is. That is the maybe I need to make this clock. That is the Pinterest version of an awesome clock for kids. And this really got me thinking about all the different types of clock you could create and all the different things you could do with clocks. Like I kind of see this as actually gamifying time in a way that you're allocating segments to different tasks. Like that's a really fun concept. Or even kind of giving yourself a reward at the end of sort of an hour of work, like the the uh, Pomodo technique. Like there's so many cool things you can do with this. So let's dig into how we can actually turn this from being like a craft for kids into something we can actually monetize and put together professionally and sell. So when I have an idea for a project or there's something I want to work on, I tend to start with Tangent, which disclaimer is my own software that my dear husband developed for us. But of course, you too can use Tangent. Just visit tangent.rocks and that explains how you can sign up. And I usually start with Tangent Words. So what I'm going to do is just search for wall clock. And there's lots of different things that come up. So I usually scroll past the most popular ones because they tend to be a bit obvious. And I usually go down to sort of this area. You can see it's color coded. And now you can see there's some really fun things like wall clock Jewish. That's a really interesting one. Wall clock espresso, wall clock educational. So you can make clocks that actually help kids learn to tell the time. That's a really fun one. So we can actually click that and go browse Pinterest and see what kind of educational projects people are putting together with clocks. So this can give you a really good idea for how you can make clocks that help kids learn the time. Like for example, this one here that actually says five past, 10 past, quarter past. Brilliant, that's a really simple way to help kids learn the time. And I love that it's got the kid's name on as well, Joe's clock. And you can absolutely customize your clocks as well. You can sell them on Amazon Custom and customize them for your customers, even if you're selling them on Amazon. So lots and lots of ideas on Pinterest. Let's have another look through these wall clocks. So I did see another one I saw in here that I thought was really cool was wall clock for dementia pa patients. I also saw a wall clock for nursery in here. Wall clock, and there's some fun ones like wall clock Malaysia. Like these are getting down a little bit in the searches. So those aren't the most popular searches, but it can really give you ideas. Zodiac wall clock, like that's an awesome one. Let's see what kind of clocks are available for Zodiac. There's some really fun ones. I love this one. See, it's got the uh, different animals around there. I think that might be Chinese New Year, actually, not Zodiac. These ones, this one's beautiful. Look at that. It's got all the Zodiac signs. So there's all kinds of ways of making different clocks for different niches. There's a few more great ideas here. I love Wall Clock Union Jack, of course. And there's also, where was Wall Clock Jewish? I thought that was a great one. Let's see what people are doing for Wall Clock Jewish. If we click Google Images, see some of these are really, really cool, really pretty, interesting. And I love the functional ones. I love ones that have something really interesting or functional about them. Like this one that has the Hebrew numbering, like that is so cool. And some of them just have very simple things like little slogans that are funny or interesting that people like, like the oy vey there. So there's lots of interesting ideas that you can make with your clocks. So let's talk about this. How can we actually start putting together a clock and selling it and monetizing it, which is the important thing. So let's go over to Zazzle and Zazzle have a bunch of wall clocks that you can customize. 
So I tend to just stick with the simple round one and the square one. Those are really the, the simplest ones to design for. They are a little bit on the expensive side. Like I think $26.95 is a little bit high for a clock. But if it's customized, then people may be very willing to pay that on Amazon. It just depends on your design. I mean, a lot of people are price insensitive if the product matches their needs very specifically. So I would recommend looking at Amazon Custom and considering putting people's names on their clocks. I'll show you what I mean. If we go to Tangent and we just put Wall Clock and we go and search on Amazon. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is do Wall Clock Custom. And you can see if we scroll down a little bit, like for example, this is a custom, a customized clock and it says samples bar. So you could put like Harry's bar, Fred's bar. This one says the Jackson family. And you can see people are charging high prices for these, $55.95. And look, it's got 13 reviews. People are buying this. This one also, 14 reviews, even though they're charging $35 plus shipping. So people are buying customized clocks. So don't worry too much about price here. Also, if you're looking for something cheaper, there's another site called Branders, and this has some really cheap clocks. So it goes down even as low as sort of $10 here. So you could also use Branders to make your clock. Okay, so let's go to Zazzle, and for now we're gonna make our clock using Zazzle. So create your own, your own product here. And another thing that's cool about Zazzle is that they do actually offer some discounts and they almost always have a site-wide discount going. At the moment it's 25% off. So that does give you a little bit more margin to play with. And this is what I'm gonna do. So you go add image and this is actually an image I made earlier. Let me see, it's in my downloads. Here it is. So this is a really simple design I made that says I heart California and each hour you can do something super Californian. You wake up with the sunshine, you don't really wake up at midnight but it looks cute there. You have avocados, you go surfing, that's more Californian things, tacos, coffee, beer, whales, sushi, donuts, popcorn and time for bed. So that was just like a little sort of simple design I put together using Canva. I'm going to show you now how you can also make your clock. So I like to use Canva. If you know how to use Photoshop and it, you're, you're big on Photoshop, awesome, please use it. Use whatever design skills you have. I have no design skills, so I tend to use Canva for everything because it just makes things look good. My husband Isaac, he does everything in Photoshop because he's a genius at it. So I strongly recommend using whatever you are comfortable with to make your designs. So I'm going to take this clock, let's start with a plain one. So we're going to go back to create your own wall clock. We're going to go back to start again. And it gives us just a simple plain image that we can put our details of our clock on there. Okay, so let's start designing our clock. So this one is actually a medium clock. You can see down here it gives you the sizes. You can either make an 8 inch clock, which is a medium one, that's actually still kind of small, or a 10.75 diameter, which is the large one. So let's just do the 8 inch one for now. So what I do is I go to Canva and I say use custom dimensions. and we're going to hit design and what that does is it generates a nice square for me so I'm going to go to my uploads where I actually have a template and if you look in the links for this video you can also download the template there so I'm going to use this template to get me started I'm going to make it uh, go all the way out to the edges here and you can use this template no matter what size clock you're doing as long as it's like a, a round clock this should be fine. You just drag it out to fit. We're actually going to get rid of this at the end. So it's literally just a template to help you design. So we have that set up and now you are free to design. You have the world ahead of you. So, I mean, one thing you can do, you can use some Canva elements. And what I will say here is you have to be careful because their licensing is a little bit crazy and a little bit all over the place. So let's say, for example, we want to make a drink calendar. I just looked up drink. 
What you could do, and we'll go to illustrations because these are great. The best way to check with Canva is to have a look at that little information button down there. If it says free, use it in all your, your designs, you can use that for resale. If it doesn't say that, if it just says you use it for one design or for single use, then you can't use that in products for resale. Now Canva do tend to change their licensing. So like don't take this necessarily as red, always check the licensing for any images or pictures you are using yourself. But for now, if it says free, use it in all your designs, you are good to go. And I found that out by clicking that little information button there. Now some of these, if they have a watermark on usually, and also I'm using Canva for work, which means that I get some of these images free that I can't use on products for resale. Like for example, if I click this one, it says one time use, remove watermark for a single design. I can't actually use that for products for resale according to Canva's current licensing. So always check the images literally how I put these pictures in. But basically what I'm going to do is just go around and put images in that I think are cool and then I can put information on them like I can I can put writing on here to say mojito, whiskey, vodka so that each space on the clock is a different drink. So I could put the text on there and I could say something like uh, let's use some subheading. I mean I could put mojito o'clock and then I could put it under here. I probably want to make it a little bit smaller. So I could literally go around the whole clock and let's do another one. We can copy this. Okay, and we'll do, I don't know, what I don't know what drink that is. Uh, let's say whiskey o'clock. Whiskey o'clock. You could go around the whole clock like this, putting your, your little, drinks around it and boom you will have a drink clock. Another thing you can do is use emojis. Now here's something really really cool. Emoji 1 currently, their current data set is not allowed to be used for commercial use. You have to pay to use it commercially. However, their version 2 emoji set is open source. They released it to Creative Commons, it was open source and that means you can use all of these images. So you could have like poop o'clock, money o'clock, pumpkin o'clock. You could just put the cats around it. Like you have all these ideas that you could, you could use emojis for and put them on your clock. If you're in the curate course or you have tangent, there is access to the version two data set from emoji one in that course or in tangent. So really, really powerful. You can use these emojis. Another place I like to go and get icons is from Noun Project. Again, they have a slightly weird licensing agreement. So do check the licensing on anything you use, but you can absolutely get icons for all kinds of things. Like if you wanted to make, let's say, I, I don't know, a, a clock for nurses, for example, you could go and look up nurse, on Noun Project and probably find some interesting pictures related to nursing. And something I really like, oh there we go, so we can go medicine and look up these 21 icons. And something I really like about the Noun Project is that they have sets, they have sets of icons. So if you like a particular style of icon, you can click on it and it will show you a bunch more that are very similar. So you could use these images and create a particular clock just for nurses. So you could have like medicine time. Oh, and remember when we looked at Tangent, there was a clock suggestion for dementia patients. This is perfect. Like you could put sort of like medicine time on there with the pills. You could put bedtime. Like you could actually have a graphical clock. So I'll show you, for example, let's grab this image here, the capsule one, and I'm gonna download it as a PNG. Oops, I already have an account. Hopefully it'll log me in and I can grab that image, there it is. Uh, you can also get them in different colors. Another tip I, I use is that I sometimes use a program called Sketch.io to colorize icons. So you can actually color them in before you use them. But let's grab uh, this one, actually I'm gonna keep it black and white because that looks cool. But we can download this as a PNG. And now if I go back to my clock, instead of having whiskey o'clock, mojito o'clock, 
we can actually upload that image from noun project here we go and we can drag that onto our clock so we could have pill time bedtime sleepy time whatever you want to put in there so you can see how i'm creating my particular clock on here so what we can do is just go all the way around and then i'll show you what this looks like when we're finished okay so we've gone all the way around our clock kind of like we did for the california clock here and what we can do now is add any elements you like to this you can add photographs you can add text you can add pictures as long as you have the rights to use those images you've checked out the licensing and if you're using tangent this is really cool because you can look up any pictures you want in tangent and look up public domain pictures so for example if we were looking at our california clock maybe you want to use pictures of california so i can type in california we go public domain and i'm going to use Flickr. now remember it's up to you to double check everything is public domain the tangent explorer takes you to these sites that claim to have public domain pictures but always double check that the pictures are in fact public domain because we can't guarantee that. But one I really like is Flickr. I find Flickr has some amazing pictures and people can set their own licensing on them when they upload them. Wow, so here are some really nice pictures here. Often these are pictures just taken by people and uploaded. Flickr has some great images. So we could just take like this image of Manhattan Beach. Oh, there's, a, there's an even better one there. So we could just take this image of Manhattan Beach and put that on our I Love California clock as well. So you have all these options. So let's go back to the original picture as well that we looked at, that we started with. You could totally do something like this as well. You can create segments. And think about this. You, can, you could create this for all kinds of people. Think about people who like to organize their time, like writers. They could set out writing time or artists. You could make a clock for artists. So there's all kinds of different ways you can put a clock together. This is just one way I've done it. So let's go back to our Canva and here's our image. This is our finished image. We've gone around here. We've put in all the different drinks. I'm going to finish it off by adding a little bit of text. We'll put it's party time. Let's put that on two lines. I'm going to change the font. Let's have something fun because it's about drinking. Yay. Um, so I'll go with architect's daughter. Let's have red. I like that red. And let's move it up a little bit. So we're still using the template to make sure it's centered. And I'm going to just make the text a little bit bigger. That looks good. And I'm going to space it down a bit so it's a bit tighter. Just like that. Awesome. This is our clock. I think that looks pretty neat. So the last touch is to actually click on the outside and hit delete just to remove the template because we don't need that anymore. And we're going to download this image, transparent background, download it. Okay, it's downloaded. So now we can go back to Zazzle. We say add image to our clock and we hit the upload button and my downloaded image should be here. Okay, this is the finished image. So let's bring it out a little bit just so it fits into the clock template. We'll just drag it out, make sure it's centered correctly. That looks pretty good. So let's check the preview. There it is. There's our party time clock. So of course, we might want to do a little bit of tweaking with this, straighten out the images, put numbers on it. And that looks a little bit off center so we can fix that. But you see how easy it is to create a simple clock using Zazzle, using Canva. Once you get really going with like Photoshop and all the other tools you have, you can do so many things. Again, remember to check all the licensing on any images you use. You can use Noun Project. You can use lots of other icon sets. I know there's things like Flat Icon is another site you can go to. There's all kinds of places to go and get cool icons, cool images. Don't forget that emoji one, the version two set. This is the URL here, emoji1.com slash emoji slash v2. That set, as far as I know, is still open source and you can use all of these images. So you could create, like if you were making a nursery clock, 
You could totally put cat, mouse, monkey, penguin, all these cute animals, you can put those on there. You can make clocks for special occasions. You could have holidays on there. You can have zodiac. Like, there's so many cool things you can do. And don't forget functional clocks as well. How can you create a clock that helps kids learn the time? Or how can you create a clock that helps someone learn a language? You can put French or German words on there. You could put the times in different languages. Huge, huge potential. You could also, I mean, taking my California clock idea, we go back to that. You could do this for any state, any city, and I'm sure you can make it much, much better than mine. Mine's purely an illustrative one. But have a lot of fun with this. One last thing you might like to do with your clock is, uh, as I mentioned in this video, is that you can customize it. So you can absolutely create a clock that can be customized with different names, with different occupations, different states, different places. You could even offer to put anniversary dates or special dates, or birth dates, or anything like that on it. You can even offer image customization, so you could create a clock with space for someone's image. So if you join Amazon Custom, it's free, it's very easy to get into it, then you can also offer customized clocks for your customers. So really, really powerful. We've just taken one very simple product, one very simple idea, and turned it into something that you can sell both on Zazzle itself, on Amazon, on Etsy. And one thing I would suggest, you can really use this to test out your ideas. And then if you have one that's, do that's doing really well, that's being super successful, you can get it custom made for you either overseas or from a US supplier at a much cheaper rate than something like Zazzle. And then you can send it into Amazon and sell it through FBA. So you have a lot of scope with this. Simple idea, lots of different products you can make from it. I hope you've really enjoyed this. If you did, check out my course Curate. It's at curate.blueskysuite.com and it will give you a zillion ideas for products like this that you can create and sell on Amazon. It will also give you more information on how you can actually list those on Amazon and how you can market those as well. All right, have a great one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe down at the bottom. Super appreciate it. Have a great evening, guys. Bye.